Good afternoon, friends. Stephen Benin with Israeli News Live, and uh, this is a very short video, but I want to let you know you will we will be doing some very major updates this weekend, going tomorrow tomorrow night and this weekend both. Um, I will be getting you up to speed on what's really going on with Ukraine, what's going to go on with the world, what's going to be happening with all of this. Uh, one thing I wanted to let you know, though, is that I was told already, and this is from a friend of mine in uh, FEMA, an engineer in FEMA, that there are two possibilities that the, uh, the, in the major sanctions that the U.S. is fixing to announce, that they haven't already announced them already, I don't think they have, uh, they're going to do even more severe sanctions on Russia, including a, a full trade embargo, as well as cutting off the Panama Canal and the Gibraltar Strait. The Gibraltar Strait, as you're seeing this on the NASA photo right here, uh, is going into the Mediterranean Sea. You want to talk about sparking World War III, no doubt would. Now, the other one, though, and I'm going to come back to this one here because there's imagery in this that I noticed from NASA's photo that has blown me away about this. Uh, and I'm wondering if it couldn't be even a sign that we have overlooked. Um, in fact, by the way, when you're looking at this NASA satellite imagery here, Morocco is on the bottom, and on the top, that's Spain right there. And if you just go, though, for, for example, to maps, I'll go ahead and go into this. Let me, let's go to Google Maps. And you look at this very same place, um, Mediterranean, however you want to say it, Mediterranean see here we go and you do a satellite imagery of it if you're close up you won't see it as well but when you're like that you can still see it there as well okay as long as you're at a distance but the one that NASA did is what caught my attention because it looks like a bear and an eagle facing off one at the other. And the mouth is open right here. I don't know if my cursor is showing on this video or not. There's the mouth is open of the bear, the nose right there, eyebrow. Uh, you might say that's the eye right there, the bear facing off. And then you have the eagle right here, uh, the, the beak facing down. Uh, going back up, rounding up, and then his wing coming back like that there. You could even say way down here is the, where his feet are perched on something. Uh, something like that. The eagle being the United States, the bear being Russia. And oddly enough, Spain is more on the side of Russia and Morocco on the side of the United States. Not saying specifically in this conflict, but we have seen, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I'm mistaken, I actually found an article where Spain would not was not willing to condemn Russia for what's going on in Ukraine. I think that's so eerily strange because if we try to do a blockade, if NATO does a blockade on the Straits of, uh, of, of Gibraltar to try to stop Russia from being able to use that, that particular area there, it could be Russia, the United States, facing off in a showdown. And that's why I find that imagery so fascinating. Now, quickly, I'll, let me pull back over, though, the other issue that we're looking at, the Panama Canal. Why is that a major uh, issue, right? You go down to Panama, and we've got, of course, the canal down there. China owns the Panama Canal now, or owns the lease of the Panama Canal. The Clinton administration sold the Panama Canal to them. If we do a blockade on the Panama Canal to where you can't, the Russian uh, ships can't go back and forth to, to access between the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, then China will justifiably say that they're going to put troops in there to keep the strait open in defiance of the United States. And I'm going to be asking about that. I'll be going into some meetings here for too long. I'm going to see if I can find out because 
China already has troops in Canada. And we've been told that there's enough troops that they have there to launch an invasion here on in the United States. But they've been wanting to get troops in Mexico to hit us from the south as well. And we know that there has been intel coming out that Russia has asked China for China's help uh, in the event that they end up in a war with the United States. And they have offered to do exactly that. We're in some really serious trouble, friends. And this would this would give the ability for China to get troops in to where they could launch that invasion from the south. And we'll just be sitting ducks. So this is not a good situation, uh, regardless which way we go. I'll be doing everything I can to get more information for you, bring you up to speed. Um, in fact, I just got a, a message this evening from a friend of mine there. Um, with FEMA and I was being told and I, I cannot confirm this as of yet so please understand uh, this is no confirmation uh, but that Russia uh, has been advising or has been moving their citizenry from Moscow to the mountains uh, anticipating of a nuclear strike and again I cannot confirm that as of yet uh, I know also there's a story going around right now that sheriffs have received letters uh, by Walmart that their stock is not going to be continuing here in the very near future. Last couple of weeks here will be the last bit of stock that they're getting. Uh, and no one has been willing to pass along the documentation to prove this, but it, it supposedly that information is credible. Uh, I got... Uh, some of that was asked of me from uh, 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 John Moore, and but I don't know for sure as of yet. So uh, I'll see if I can find out all that information and a lot more, even with Planet X, etc. Things like that will be going into some of those things as well. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Good evening.